السلام علیکم ڈیئر فرینڈز آئی ایم انجینئر سیف اللہ اینڈ یو آر واچنگ سیول انجینئر ایٹ سائڈ یو ٹیوب چینل ڈیئر فرینڈز ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر ود یو انٹرویو کویشچن اینڈ آنسر فار سیول سائٹ انجینئر کے وے کیو سی انجینئر اینڈ انسپیکٹر یو ہیو ٹو واچ دس ویڈیو فرام اسٹارٹ ٹیل دا اینڈ وداؤٹ اسکیپنگ اینی پارٹ to get the full information and knowledge and after that if you have any confusion or questions you can ask in the comment section or also you can contact me through my social network links are available in the description of the video or the about section of the channel guys and if you want to keep record of this video so you can take screenshots and save it in your mobile so if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friend now let's start the video the first question is how will trucks be checked on site when receiving concrete or what you have to check when concrete arrived at site the first thing should be checked a revolution counter a revolution counter of the truck should be checked second thing ticket or delivery note should be checked for concrete batching time and slump value at the plant because after the batching time the quality team of the batching plant they also perform slum test and they check the temperature so you have to check that values on the delivery note of the concrete after this the third thing is slum test you have to do the slum test at site fourth thing is temperature test you have to check the temperature at site and summer maximum temperature should be from 32 to 35 which is acceptable and the winter it should be minimum 10 plus 10 to 32 and winter all these tests slum test and temperature test should be done by a approved third party lab technician so it means that approved third party lab technician should be present at site to perform these tests the last thing should be checked is you have to take six cubes or four cylinder as per 50 cubic meter are recommended in the project specification but in our project specification we have to take six cylinders two cylinders should be checked after 14 days and the four cylinders should be checked after 28 days but it depends on the project specification and condition generally you can take four cylinders or six cube as per 50 cubic meter concrete now the second question what is the purpose of slump test to check the workability of concrete we perform slump test just to check the workability of concrete question number 3 what are the allowable slumps generally as per astm c39 the slump we use are same from 75 mm to 125 mm and if it's a wet concrete or flowable concrete flowable concrete i'm just simplifying it for you we have the slump values are uh 160 to 240 because we use this concrete in our project in the parking area for a concreting and we have to pour this concrete the wet concrete by the piping system the fourth question is what is a plasticizer usually applied a low water cement ratio concrete to make it workable like 
after performing the slum test when the value is from 75 to 80 like that it means that the concrete workability is low and it's hard to place the concrete or to cast the concrete so at that time we applied or we add plasticizer to increase the workability of concrete and place the concrete easily question number five what is the maximum temperature of concrete that can be poured into a concrete structure maximum of concrete uh, the temperature of the concrete is 32 degrees centigrade generally but in the sites 30 till 35 degrees centigrade it's allowable question number six minimum and maximum atmospheric or ambient temperature prayer to paving is 5 degrees C in cold weather and 45 degrees centigrade and maximum for the hot weather atmospheric atmospheric temperature or ambient temperature prior to paving is 5 degrees centigrade in cold weather and 44 45 degrees centigrade for the hot weather question number seven minimum and maximum temperature of concrete at site prior to pouring minimum concrete temperature is degree centigrade uh, 10 degree and maximum is 32 degree centigrade question number eight what is the purpose of curing so answer is to maintain the amount of water in the concrete mix to minimize hairline cracks if you want to avoid cracks in the surfaces of the concrete and want to maintain the amount of water in the concrete mix you have to do the curing now the next question question number nine is about the types of curing in question number eight we discuss the curing that what is the curing now in nine question number nine we will discuss how many types of curing we have so water curing is in the kind of ponding spraying water wet sand and wet earth membra membrane curing as in plastic film liquid membrane curing compound and in pores paper steam curing these are the different types of curing question number 10 when will you apply the curing of the concrete after the concrete has initially set 35 to 40 minutes is the initial sitting time of concrete but as per site condition like practically minimum you can start curing after 24 hours but it depends on the weather condition like if you are you complete uh, you cast concrete in the summer so after casting you have to cover all the concrete with the plastic so at that time it will be avoided because the hydration at that time is too much on the peak and at that time you can start maximum because uh, the curing after the two to three hours but if you are using chemical for the curing so you have to cover the concrete after 30 po 35 to 40 minutes or maximum one hour question number 11 for how many days are you going to cover a structure seven days generally we cover the structure for seven days in some cases like ppc types of cement 14 days of curing are recommended for ppc types of cement you have to do the curing for 14 days and generally you have to cover the structure for seven days what is hydration it is the formation of compound by the combination of water and other substances are in concrete it is the chemical reaction between water and cement that is a general question and easy question number 13 how many times do you apply the curing membrane question number 13 answer at least two times 
the second application is perpendicular to the first and applied after the first application has set minimum are at least two time you have to apply the keyring membrane and the first will be perpendicular to the second and after the setting of the first application you have to apply the second mem curing membrane question number 14 concrete concrete curing water shall not have more than dash of the total dissolved solid tds tds for the curing water it will be a potable water and tds will be 1000 ppm the last question and question number 15 concrete can be drop freely at height of maximum height for the concrete drop is 1.5 meter but here in saudi arabia in our project it's 1 meter to avoid segregation you, ha you have to drop the concrete from 1 meter but maximum you can go for a 1.5 meter so guys today we will in our video on the question number 15 and the remaining question we will share on the another videos but if you have any question regarding these this video so you can ask in the comment section and thank you so much for watching the video if you are a new subs uh, new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your needy friend thank you so much for watching